Hello queens and kings, my name is Tandega Shabangu. Welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. Welcome to part two of the tutorial for our Vula Gabin. Not Mvula Gabin. <laughs> thank you so much. You helped me so much in the comment section. And now I know that it's Vula Gabin, not Mvula Gabin. Ooh, I've been saying it wrong all this time. But I'm glad I learned something new. And now I'm going to say the right things. Okay? So, today we are going to transform this into this. Okay? So, let's get started. What are we going to need today? We're going to need our 11 knot zest beads. We're going to need your thread. You're going to need your needle. And also, you are going to need your 21 centimeter sized belt. Okay? This is the length. Okay? So, let's get started. So, this is what we will be going for. The first part, we're going to do the top part. Ne? So, we are going to be connecting the long belt that I just mentioned to the the two big belts that we were busy with yesterday so what you're going to do you're going to look at the sides of your belts let's take the belt that i currently have and let me use my needle to point where's my needle hi boo oh here it is okay so with this pattern what i'm going to do is use the spaces in between first i'm going to use the sides so already i have one two so i'm going to use those two sides going out and then i have this space here the space here the space here and the space here so in total i have one let me put it here two, three, four, five, and six. So those are the spaces that I'm going to use to have the strings that are going out. Firstly, um, take your, your thin belt as reference on how many strands you're going to have when you connect your small your thin belt to your thicker belt because the number of spaces here are smaller than the number of spaces on your big belt so here we've discovered that we have six i'm going to take this one let me hold it like this take this one as reference so we have the sides one two then you have one two we put it like this three four five six seven eight nine ten so already the number is more than here so that's why you have to first count the spaces from the thinner belt and use that when you connect it to your bigger belt okay this is because there will you want to make sure that everything is even because if you used 10 strings you won't have a place where you can add those you won't have spaces because here you don't have 10 spaces so what you want to make sure is that you have the minimum number of strings going out if it makes sense let's do it practical so that it can be it's easier when it's practical ne? So, I'm going to just grab one side of the belt. I have my thread and, and my needle. The thread that I'm using is a nylon twine. So, what I'm going to do, I'm first going to just here on the sides because I want enough space for me to maneuver. I have, I made two knots at the end. Let me just, 
insert my needle into one bead. So our aim is to get here at the corner. But I start a bit far because I want to have um, an opportunity to keep fastening my thread just to make sure it's nice and secured. So I'm going to tie this knot in between the two beads. There you go. Then I can tie again just to secure it and make sure. I'm quiet because I'm concentrating. <laughs> okay, just want to make sure that it lands in between. There we go. So that it's nice and neat. It's not supposed to show that there is a knot here. Here we go. This is a... The, the tail that we used. So this is the tail that I'm going to cut off. So don't worry about this one. And then I move. I have to pull very rough. Let me, I'll come back. I'm back. <laughs> I'm just going to maneuver. Until I get to the corner. The thread that I'm using is very long because Still want to make a lot of here we go this one is a stopper bead that's why i'm not inserting my thread so it's a stopper bead so now what i'm going to do in total i am going to pick up 150 11 knot beads but i'm going to break it into groups of 30 so let me show you here. So I'm going to have, as you can see here, we have one, two, three, four, five, five groups of 30. So I'm also going to have my first group of 30 beads, second group of 30 beads, third group of 30 beads, until I have five groups of 30 beads. So I'm just going to pick up off cap, pick the beads up off camera because I want to mix the colors nicely. And then I'll come back. You too can also pick up the colors that you want. Or if you're using one color, it's okay too. It's your design. Just make sure that you have 50, 150 beads. But I've decided to just break them into colors as you can see here. I'll be back. So here I have my 150 beads, beads with me. So this is how they are. Okay, so, oh, just a remember, my reminder, oops, sorry, one, this end, one side of the small belt is all going to be dedicated on one belt, on one big belt, <laughs> and then the other side of the belt will be dedicated to the one side of the entire part of this big belt Whew, i'm sorry my tongue is twisted okay so this is how i've decided to go with my colors so you're going to start at the corner let me just remove this from the frame because it's focusing on the wrong things so 
I'm going to insert my needle into these two beads here so that the line will just form straight at the corner. Let me just make it short like this. So this is how it is. Corner to corner, post to post. And then once that is done, you are going to maneuver your needle. I'm going to skip this space because remember we don't we, we have to skip a space in between so that we'll have enough lines spread evenly throughout the entire part of the belt. So I'm going to insert my needle into this one bead. This one bead. So this is me maneuvering. So you want to move your, your thread in between the spaces, the beads, so that it does not show. And then there's these three beads here. So I'm just going to insert my needle just straight through the three beads. Just try to avoid knots along the way. And make sure it's nice and pulled. So now I'm going to pick up 150 beads again. I am now going to move up. So this is how my thread is sticking out. So I jumped one space and I moved here. Now I'm going to pick up my 150 beads again. Make sure that the colors are matching nicely next to each other. And then we are going to now move back up to our small belt. So here I have my 150 beads with me. Let me just show you. Here it is. So now I'm moving up. I'm going to go to the second spot that we had mentioned before. In between this. I'm going to in, in I'm going to add my my strand my line of beads in between this beads. So what I'm going to do I'm just going to insert my needle into the three beads so that the thread will just come behind the needle. Just going to pull it gently. And here we are. Make sure that I pull tight. Here we are. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to pick 150 beads again. And then I am going to add them in the bottom belt. <laughs> My brain is so slow today. I'm sorry. Then I'm going to add it into the bottom belt. So now let me go and pick up my 150 beads. So here are my 150 beads. What I'm going to do is insert my needle here. But remember we are skipping space. So I'm going to skip this space. Let me remove this from the frame. I'm going to skip this space and use this space. So I'm going to insert my needle into the three beads like this and then I pull my thread. And here we go. It falls into place like this. And then I want my thread to come out here at this point. 
to come out at this point. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to maneuver in between this bead. Oopsie. And then into the three beads. Oopsie, sorry into the three beads and then I pull my thread now I'm going to pick up another 150 beads so I'm going to make my fourth thread my fourth thread okay so here are my 150 beads what I'm going to do now is move up. So I'm going to insert my needle into the open space. The space, oops, sorry. Here and I take it out here. Let me put it like this. And also show it like this. So I insert my needle into this space. And then I pull. So currently I have four. And here it is. Just have to pull it so that it can be nice and proper with the other kids <laughs> okay so i'm just going to keep doing that what i'm going to do now here at the bottom let me put it up like this i'm going to insert my needle into this next one this space and then at the corner so what I want to do, I just want to show you the final product. And here at the top, I use this space and then also this corner here at the end. So currently now, as I'm just going to add this, the 150 beads moving down. Then when I come back on top, I'll be here at the corner. So when I come back, I'll show you how I went about. Okay, so now this is the last thread, the last line. So what I'm going to do is just add it here on the side. So I'm just going to insert my needle into this one bead and I pull. Make sure I pull perfectly to secure it. And then I go to the next door neighbor. Okay, so once the neck, your needle is into the next door neighbor, you are going to tie a knot just to secure it because now you're going to cut off the thread. You are working on cutting off the thread. There we go. Tie another knot. Make sure the knot is in between the beads so that it's neat. It's not easily, it's not easy to find the knot. Just put it slowly and here we go. Then you can go next door into that one bead pull and you can tie a knot again on this one Tie another second knot 
in between the beads it's much it is much more neater tying a knot in between beads because it just vanishes it just disappears and here we are once that is done you cut off the thread So you're going to do the same thing with this, the other end of your belt. And now you're going to connect it to this part. So now I'm just going to skip to the second, to, to the tassel part. So you're just going to do that with this side and then you get to your tassels. So this is how... It turned out in total here and there if you want your what can I say your this part to be longer you can add another group of 30 beads maybe you can add two more groups of 30 just depending on the length it all depends on you because I, I know the other people who like who like this part to be a bit lower from the chest so you can just keep adding from the 150 at the number of beads. Maybe you can add uh, 60 more beads to the 150. So you can have uh, 210. Yeah. So if you want it longer, you add more beads. If you want to keep it shorter like this, you can continue to do that. So now we're going to move on to the bottom part. The tassel part so we're going to do this on this part of the the big <laughs> the big belt i'm still yeah okay so now you're going to take your thread and your needle and just make a knot you tie your knot It's best to start at the corner. So what? how are you going to do your tassels here at the bottom? What you're going to do, you're going to focus on the spaces. I just wanted to focus. Focus. Let me remove this from the camera. And only have this. There are these spaces in between. Yes, there are these spaces in between. As you can see, it's one, two, three. Then there are spaces, one, two, three spaces. So in between the three beads, there are spaces. The reason why it's three beads and not two beads is because this is the foundation part of the belt and not the side of the belt. But if you're making your tassels at the side of your belt, you're going to have spaces between two beads. But because this is the foundation, it's go, you're going to have your spaces in between three beads, okay? So we made our knot, we tied our knot from our um, thread. So what we're going to do is firstly insert our needle just to the bead that's at the corner and pull. And then around it. Between the beads here, you're going to make a knot to make a nice cute circle. Once the circle size is manageable, you then insert your needle inside the circle and then you pull. There we go. It's nice and secured. And then I'm going to move three beads. Because this is the foundation part, after three beads, I'm going to have a space. So I've moved three beads in and here is the space here. Okay. I'm using a single thread, by the way. So now what I'm going to do, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick up um, the beads in groups of 20 and not 30 
I'm going to have pick up 20 black, 20 white, 20 gold, and 20, what's the name? Uh, silver gray, yes. If you want it to be longer, you can still continue adding. Maybe you can add one more group of 20 or you can add two more groups of 20. It is all up to you. But the original, it has six groups of 20. The one I'm using as reference. But here I've decided to make 80 beads throughout. But that one, it has six groups of 20 so it's 120 beads okay so i'm just gonna pick up these number of beads and then i come back so here are my 20 20 20 20 beads so i have 80 beads in total so now at the end i'm looking for this flower i want to make this flower at the tip of my tassel how do i go about i add one bead i pick up one bead from the gray pick up that bead and i push it to the end like this and then i pick up three beads and those three beads that i'm going to pick up i am not going to push them to the to the rest push them with the rest of the beads so i'm just gonna leave the three beads here at the tip and then i insert my needle going back up so i'm going to insert my needle to each and every bead here going to insert my needle to each and every bead here And I keep pulling it in sections because my needle is shorter compared to the tassel that I made. Just need to be nice and patient. So if you pull, you're going to have the flower like this. This is how your flower is going to look like. So you continue to add To insert your needle into each and every bead. Move up. Keep pulling your thread too. Oopsie. My finger is stuck. Then keep doing this until you get to the end, like this, to the top. And then you make sure that you secure. What I like doing is to pull the three beads that make a flower. And then at the same, when I'm done, I pull here at the top. So when I see it bending a bit, that means it's tension that is formed. So I'm confident that the thread is pulled nicely. Once it starts, forming that tension. So what I'm going to do now is add my thread into the next three beads. Just wait for it to focus. There we go. So now I'm going to insert my needle into the next three beads. Like this. And then I pull. Make sure you pull nicely so that your tassel is nice and secured. So here we go. Then I'm going to let my thread loose here. By loose, I mean this is where the thread has to be in between the, the open spaces. So what I'm going to do is keep adding the same amount of beads, my 20, 20, 20, 20 beads. So here is my 20, 20 group. So what I want to do is make sure that I can make this flower. So what I do, I add my pick up my first bead and then I push it to the end. 
and then I pick up three beads. Three beads. These three beads that I pick up, there's no need for me to push them to the end. Now what I do, I here are my three beads. I insert my needle it into each and every bead here and I pull. Oopsie. Insert my needle it into each. Sometimes you'll get a gap like this, but just keep going because at the end you can be able to pull and cause and make the tension here we go I insert my needle then I do it again until you get to the top see so there's no more beads to insert your needle at insert your needle into so what do you do to cause the tension just pull your flowers like this so this that's the gap and then you pull the tail too just to create the tension if there's still gap you keep going you do it over and over until you get it right there we go so as you can see when i pull it bends like this so that shows that the tension is created now what do i do i insert my needle into the next three beads the next three beads as you can see here and then i pull my needle so you're just going to keep going all the way until you get to the last space and then you move to the end and then you fasten your you tie your knots in between the beads when you get to the end so this is where i'm going to stop but you're going to keep going they are other open spaces that are left you have one two three four five six so i have six more open spaces where i can make my tassels so when you're done make sure that you fasten your knot and when you tie your knot you tie them in between the beads like what like how we started here so this is where we're going to stop queens and kings thank you so much for watching thank you so much for being patient because i know it took time for the part two to come back thank you so much for being patient with me queens and kings and thank you so much <laughs> thank you for watching see you on the next video but remember to love yourself respect yourself honor yourself and have fun if you love the content that you're seeing please consider subscribing see you on the next video Bye.